District 6. Lane 6 is Hampton out of District 7. Lane 7 is Parkland from District 11. And Lane 8 is Shimokin from District 4. Fastest qualifying time in Lane 4 is LaSalle College at 323.46. So with eight teams in the final section, State College would like to beat any of those teams with a, fit, a strong finish here and add to their team points. They have 33 right now. The fans mostly are still remaining here, although many have gone home with only one event on the track left. And team titles to be awarded. We'll have more of our field event coverage when the four by 400 meter relay is complete. Run you through the rest of the morning events and the afternoon events as well. Let you know the team champions and our athlete of the meet, all before we sign off from Shippensburg on a weekend of track and field coverage here on PCN. So now the runners are positioned in the blocks. After a bit of a delay. And off. Good start for Hampton in lane six. And now LaSalle College in lane four making its move. Again, they are the fastest of the, pre of the teams to qualify of these eight. And LaSalle College has made up significant ground, and we'll see that for sure after they come out of the turn. LaSalle College in the middle in lane four. State College is right there. And lane five right beside them. With Shimokin in the outside in lane eight. That's your top three. State College has actually moved ahead, and they will exchange the baton first. State College, followed by LaSalle College, followed by Shimokin. Shimokin a little bit slow in the exchange. Wow, Shimokin lost a lot of ground. Mm. And so now out of the stagger. State College in first. LaSalle College in jeopardy of losing second, the second spot, and they do as Pittsburgh Central Catholic has moved into second place. State College still with a big lead. Here comes Butler on the outside, moving up quickly, trying to gain ground, but they kind of push him to the outside. So State College will pass the baton first, and then a race for second, third, fourth, and fifth. Shimokin has made up some ground at the end of that. They are back into the fifth spot. Sal juggled the uh, juggled the pass a little, might have cost him a little bit. Great race right now going on for second place. Can they close the gap on first place, which is State College, and they have. That's Brady. Yeah, he's been busy today. He sure has. He's running to third position. Butler is now in second. Pittsburgh Central Catholic is in third, but that's changing now as they come up the stretch. Shimokin. Shimokin on the outside <laughs> is moved into third. There's a good e example of an exchange. You, you maintained your lane coming down, lane four, ran right at your teammate and made the exchange. There was no shuffling. State College remains in first. 
Pittsburgh Central Catholic in second. And I believe LaSalle has moved back into third. State College's anchor was Bennett Norton. So you're trying to hold off the closing speed on the outside. Here comes LaSalle College on the outside with Butler closing beside them. Butler will close and finish a close second with LaSalle third. Great run there by Butler's uh, anchor. Jordan Stutz was scheduled to run the anchor spot for Butler, and he really closed quickly. Made that a much closer race than it was. So State College wins and Butler second. 325-37 is the time for State College. So we'll see if that time does move them up in position to score any more points for the Little Lions. As we get a chance to see our way through the four runners in the four by 400. One section to go. The pole vault is down to four. Vaulters left. Only one of them has cleared the height so far. And the rain has started. <laughs> Here's uh, State College's winning effort, a solid. It was the exchange from third to the fourth position. And then eventually State College would haul off the charging field. Bennett Norton able to finish it off for State College. And they finish the second of the team fi time finals in 325-37. And they just hold off Butler in the process. So now comes our third and final time to final. And this is the field. Lane one from District One is North Penn. Lane two is District Seven's Cam